I have for you just something so absurd. And I would say that it's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard this person say, but it's not because it's Marjorie Taylor Greene and she is very good at coming up with dumb things to say. So let's just play it for you. Try to figure out what the heck is going on. I have one comparison that usually people can get. So this is her guest and then she'll respond to it. If you believe in God, obviously transgender ideology is saying God made us wrong. So that makes no sense. Right. If you believe in evolution, are we to believe that after a billion years of the process of natural selection, that during this little 10 year window in mankind's history, we've been on this planet for 300,000 years, but during this little 10 year window, a pharmaceutical company is here to help our children be who they really are? That kind of goes against evolution, doesn't it? Because if, if we evolve, right. we don't need pharmaceutical companies, we don't need surgeries. We don't need gender affirming care for people to evolve. Because if Whoa. You Let's just play that again for you. Because I know you got confused thinking that you misheard her. You didn't. Against evolution, doesn't it? Because if, if we evolve. If we evolve. Right. We don't need pharmaceutical companies. We don't need pharmaceutical companies. Companies. We don't need surgery. We don't need surgeries. We don't need gender affirming care. And then we don't need gender affirming care. Okay. For people to evolve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, because humans evolve, we don't need medicine. We don't need surgeries. Huh. <laughs> Why? Why do they celebrate their ignorance? I really don't get it. So, the core of both of their arguments are so dumb. He's over here saying that if it was God's plan for X, Y, Z to happen, then God would have made that happen. And you wouldn't have to do it uh, with human means. And then he flips to evolution, which Marjorie Taylor Greene takes to say, if evolution was really a thing, um, and if evolution actually worked the way that people say, then you wouldn't need medicine, you wouldn't need surgeries, you wouldn't need gender affirming care. Both of those make no sense. Because if it was God's plan for you to wear clothes or cut your hair or any of these things, then he would have just done that already. Or you would just have hair naturally fall out and you wouldn't have to cut it. Or you would have, you know, more fur or something. So why are you putting clothes on? That's against God's plan. You didn't come to this world with clothes on. No, we understand that's not um, logical. And then the evolution point, even crazier, it seems, thinking that it isn't a part of our development process to become more intelligent, which allows us to develop things like medicine, like surgeries that will allow us to live longer, live healthier, whatever it is. That's not to say all medicine does that, obviously, but it has been a over the last hundreds of years process of us way stretching out our lifespan because of technological and medical advances. Um, and so her pretending like if we were meant to, you know, not be affected by certain diseases, I guess, or something like that, uh, then we would just evolve into that and we wouldn't need medicine for it. Makes no sense because we have evolved to be more intelligent, to have that level of consciousness that other living things don't have, which then gives us the ability to develop things like medicine, surgeries, uh, gender affirming care. So this just proud anti-science stance that is so popular now fascinates me it's so bizarre um, but quite unsurprising marjorie taylor green saying who needs medicine and surgeries if evolution was really a thing